So last time we talked about history, and history tells a story about real events from the past. Today we're going to talk about time, and time is one of the ways that we measure and that we talk about history. One of the ways that we might measure time is a clock, and I bet you use this a lot, especially when you're wondering what time it is, meaning, hmm, is it time for breakfast? Is it time for lunch? Is it time for dinner? You might be asking, is it time yet? Are we there yet? Time is going to be one of those things that you are going to use. You use minutes and hours to tell what time it is. Okay, that's one way that we can use to measure history over the time of a day. A time of day might also be important. You might ask your family, your parents, or your guardians what time you were born. That might be something that they could tell you. That is one way to measure time. Another way that we can measure time is by looking at a calendar. And this is just a sketch, so please don't make sure that there are enough boxes in here because there aren't. This is just a sketch so that you can remember what it is. It has the month, okay, right now we're in the month of May. It has the year, 2020, and then we would have days of the week and the date. Okay, so that is something you can look at at a calendar. We also measure time by what month it is what year it is, what day of the week, and the date. And the date talks about what number it is, how many days in the month we've been. So today is May 22nd, 2020, which it's not, I'm just using it as an example. But if it was May 22nd, 2020, we would be in the month of May, it would be the 22nd day in that month, and the year would be 2020. That means we've already been through 2019, and next year will be 2021, which leads us to a third way that we can measure time. A third way we can measure time is by using our words. So the first way is by using a clock, okay, what time it is. The next way is to use a calendar, and the third way is to use our words. And you use these words all the time in reading. Some of the things that we might use when we retell a story or we summarize a story and tell another person what it's about is we might use the word first, next, and last. Some other words that we might use in our retell or when we're talking about a story is before, during, and after. These are all words we might use to talk about time. Before I go to the swimming pool, I need to pack a swimsuit. While I'm at the swimming pool or during my trip to the swimming pool, I swam around. After I went to the swimming pool, I put my swimsuit away and went home. Those are all words that we could use to describe events in history. Okay, history is happening right now and wherever we are. So those are three ways we can measure time. What's the first way? We can use a clock. The second way is using a calendar. And the third way is by using our words.